So here we are, map number one of, sorry, map number two of this best of three finals. It's the ESL Pro Series, the last cup of the Summer League, and spawning to the top right of merry-go-round. We've got the Red Terran player representing Mouse Sports, Hero Marine. And his opponent to the south, the Blue Protoss representing ESC. We have Showtime. Showtime is currently 1-0 up in this best of three finals, and that's good news for him. He's in a very strong footing as this goes on. Of course, being 1-0 up in a best of three is always a nice position because the ball is really in your court. If you want to go aggressive, if you want to go for something a bit risky to try and win flat out, right, you can. You also have the psychological edge because this game is, for Showtime, at worst, neutral. Because if he loses it, he's got game number three. Best case, he wins and wins the series. However, for Hero Marine, the pressure's all on. He has to win this game. If he doesn't, he comes second. It's that simple. He has to win this. And that pressure can actually cause tilting. It can cause you to go for either a too safe play or a too aggressive play. And all of those things are going to be easily seen by Showtime. He's going to be keeping a good check on everything going on. Uh, by the way, people watching on Twitch, I am one follower away from hitting 1,600. If you don't follow my channel, you should, you should totally let me hit that milestone. I want to try and hit 2,000 followers by the end of the month. Anyway, um, Natural Waste coming down now from here, Emery. Gets scouted pretty much the second it is thrown down. And therefore, that SCV is going to get poked and prodded and prodded and poked. Two more SCVs are going to come down to help. Does add a little bit of a delay here, though. And any little delay is always a nice delay. I talked about this in game one. Marginal gains and all that sort of stuff. So, very important. Anyway, quick little look. And as you can see, just a little further check from this probe as everything starts coming through. Two more barracks. Or the first two barracks on their way. We'll probably see Hero Marine go up to the three barracks. He does do that all the time. And, well, the three barracks is a really nice play for him because he's got a couple of options to go off the back of that. For a start, he's very secure and safe because he's got, obviously, the triple marine production, even without add-ons. Means he can get up to those six marines to defend against an oracle exceptionally fast and at both bases. Uh, secondly, he's got the option of going for the tech lab into stim, uh, maybe double tech labs into stim and concussive, uh, stim and combat shield. But he's also got a short-term game plan where he can go for concussive shell nice and quick. So... Seen him do all of those, actually. Anyway, as we keep things going, Hero Marine, morphing in the orbit command here. We do have a pylon in an interesting position. Waiting down. Waiting to see what this pylon's going to be for. Could be for a lot of things. Could be for a proxy stargate, although it's a bit of an unusual position to put that. Um, generally, you'd see proxy stargates and stuff around this sort of vicinity. Uh, could be for proxy twilight council. That's definitely a possibility for a blink play um wait to see what else comes but no this is all good at the moment um still just keeping an eye on everything that these two are doing okay it's a proxy target i was wrong i said it was a weird place to put it but sometimes weird places are good places um i wouldn't use that i was gonna say something uh, i'll keep this pg-13 I was going to make a very crude joke about sometimes weird places are good places to put it. Just use your imagination, Twitch chat. Like, I have just opened you up such, like, a massive doorway to say funny things in Twitch chat. Go ahead. Use it. Anyway, um, probe just coming up here at the moment. We've got, of course, the SCV scouting out for Hero Marine. Just getting a good little look at what kind of text coming down. And he's probably going to be not alarmed, but a little bit curious as to what kind of tech is there. So, not too much really going on. Should know something's up. Should be wondering what kind of text down, what's going to be coming at him. Is an oracle coming through, but remember the advantage of getting down uh, the three barracks pretty quick with a lot of marines. He's got 12. By this next production cycle, he can have six marines at each base. And as a result, he's going to be able to defend against this oracle pretty easily. So, in goes the oracle. Shouldn't be able to achieve too much. How many marines are here? Okay, only three are there at the moment. There's one left in that bunker. That will need to pull back pretty quick. The Oracle may be able to get a little bit of damage down. Um, decides against it, though, and then realizes, actually, there's not that many marines there. Gets one 
little killdown. One kill really not enough though to really warrant its investment as of yet, but of course it's still alive. And while it's alive, it's got the option to come back in again if needed. So, Arok, Reaper just getting a little bit of damage down here. Should be able to escape away, just is going to be really close though. Uh, get to scout another gateway, no, already knows about the proxy uh, Stargate just because of the Oracle coming in. Did he actually see the all-important robotics? Yeah, he did. So he's seen the robotics facility and this is all looking pretty good. I'd say this is now a nice position for Showtime. He may not have done too much damage with this Oracle, but he's kept Hero Marine back for the moment. Hero Marine is going to be going up into medevac play, going for that kind of standard 10 and 11 minute timing with the two medevacs. He's got Stim on its way. Concussive Shell is not researched. Combat Shield is not researched, so should be seeing that come down pretty fast. Um, Oracle backs up another kill. That's three work kills in total at the moment for Showtime. He's got okay, not much on the ground at the moment. Adding in, is that the second gate? Yes, second gateway is now just morphing in. He's got four more coming through as well. And those four additional gateways are going to be really important to him. He's gone up into Colossus production very, very fast. Starts his first one up now. But that should be out just in time for when this force moves across with those first few medevacs. And yeah, this is all looking very, very nice at the moment. And I'd say Showtime needs to just be aware of this. He should have seen him with this Observer. Does have vision of that entire movement. Oracle coming over. May I actually try and pick away a couple of units? Oh no, he goes for the Revelation on it. Okay, that was really nice. Revelation just means he can see the movement of these units now. Knows exactly where they are. Knows how much is there. And should be in a good position to be able to defend against this. Just as in previous games, Showtime's a bit playing the waiting game. He wants at least one of those Colossus out. Probably won't be able to get the second one. Uh, he's not going to have the 1-1 upgrades out in order to defend this. So it's going to be Photon Overcharge. Has also got the option for a Time Warp. That could be quite useful. If Hero Marine invests heavily up here, a Time Warp would actually just allow him to pick off a lot of those units. Blink is on its way as well. So this is a very heavy upgraded army. Scan comes down. Photon Overcharge immediately triggered. Shouldn't be able to do too much. No concussive shells. Stim is there though. The two medevacs are just waiting about. All in all, nothing really done. Just wasted or used 100 energy. 100 energy coming down there when you've got another 100 there. Doesn't really matter. The Oracle came in. Not able to do any damage though. That's the only trouble. It's still alive. No real HP damage. Only shield damage done to it. So always the option to keep coming back in. Double medevac. Drop ready to come through, but just as we saw last game, Showtime is invested heavily in observers. Really just wanting to know if, when, and where any kind of drops could be coming through, what they're going to be doing, and just being able to react quite quickly and promptly to that if necessary. So the Oracle did come back in again, got another worker kill, that takes it up to four this game, it levels out the worker count, but of course a level worker count always favours the Terran, thanks to mules, that's going to basically be the big thing. Um, wait to see now if we do get any third base. Should be getting one fairly soon, I'd imagine. A couple of Vikings out on the field. They were needed anyway. Ooh, engagement coming through here. The Stalker's going to try and chase down these medevacs. A couple of infantry units will get killed regardless of this. Overall, resources lost. Very low on Showtime side. Just a couple killed them. Overall, so waiting to see what else is coming in. Showtime going to try and take his third. If Showtime actually gets his third base down before third's even started by Hero Marine. That does put him in a nice spot. Hero Marine does have a really nice build where he does go for an SCV pull off of these two bases. Just to try and end the game nice and fast. Big revelation though comes down from that Oracle. Really getting this vision. And this is kind of the cornerstone of all of Showtime's players. Vision is the most important thing. It really is. And that's something you're probably more accustomed to hearing in MOBA games. How vision is really, really important. But getting this vision for the showtime here. Just lets him know when these pushes are coming. He can position his army as needed. Ready to defend wherever it could come in. Now, I must say I'm very confused what Hero Marine's planning on doing. Because we're at 13 and a half minutes. And there's no sign of a third. But there's also no sign of an SCV pool. So, this is a bit perplexing he needs to do one or the other okay there we go there's the scv pool coming in for this now this is basically all in now showtime if he holds it wins boom like he just wins the game because hero marine can't come back from this he's pulled so many scvs but likewise this is gonna be a very tough hold okay 
Showtime sees this. He's got the Observer there, sees the SCB pulls, cancels his third base up, knows that he can't hold that, just pumping everything out into production. Enough energy for a Photon Overcharge and a Time Warp if necessary. And yeah, nine Stalkers. Force Field's already coming down though. That zones out a lot of this. The Vikings trying to get picked off. A Stalker dies in the process. A couple more sentries being warped in. More Force Fields can come down. Time is key. Plus 2-2. Two, two. It's about to kick in. Now there's a small gap in those Force Fields. The Vikings going to town on the Colossi. Three of which were not engaging there. The Force Fields still very, very nice. Photon Overcharge working well. The Infantry from Hero Marine is getting taken down but the colossi are falling faster that is a problem down go the, the last colossus there and with that showtime only has gateway units hero marine able to go for that two base all in wins game number two and levels out this series 1-1 which means we get the ace game in the finals